Hey, hey, check out Miss Piggy over there. She's ready to stuff her face. <laughs> Again? Man, I feel bad for that chair. You can hear it crying across the room. Help! Help, I can't breathe. Hey, I can hear you guys. I'm a human being with feelings, too. Why do you have to be so mean? That's the point. We want you to hear us. <laughs> I was always considered bigger than most teenagers my age. So my mom forced me to do weight loss programs, like only consuming diet shakes or doing different forms of exercise like swimming to running. I would lose weight, but it never lasted more than a few months before it all piled on again. This cycle of dieting only made me hate myself more, and my teachers didn't help either. Especially my PE teacher. He would make me run in front of everyone and use me as a warning sign to my classmates, saying that they would end up like me if they were lazy. But the torments only got worse, and soon my classmates joined in, making my life a living hell. I stopped speaking in class and started sitting in the very back in an attempt to make myself as invisible as possible. But even that didn't help. I still would get sneers and laughed at by my classmates until Jenny walked into my life. She was the new girl in class, who walked with a type of confidence I'd never seen before. Jenny was just like me, but instead of trying to make herself invisible, she embraced her curves and was the center of attention. She didn't care about what our classmates said and told them to get lost. Jenny was the first person to ever challenge my understanding about what it meant to be a big girl in this world. For so long, I was so influenced by the diet culture around me that I described different foods as being good or bad. But after speaking to Jenny about her outlook on life, I realized that by categorizing foods this way, it was causing me to have an unhealthy relationship with my body. So with her help, I learned to start talking about food in a more factual way. It's simply a tool to fuel my body and to keep me healthy. After changing my mindset, Eating stopped being a battleground for me, but instead became a place of happiness. Another thing I had to get over was the idea that being big is undesirable and shameful. So after months of changing how I saw food, I was able to finally embrace my size. Some people were never supposed to be as small as the girls on the TV, and that's okay. I even reclaimed the word fat as something I was proud of. Fat is just a descriptive word that shouldn't carry such intense stigma or shame. Through this, I was able to realize that I didn't need to wait for thin Sammy to come along to love her body. I am worthy of being loved just the way I am and deserve to take up space in this world too. So please challenge people's phobia of being big because no one should ever make you feel less than just because of your size.